so I pretended to be a thief like you. Did you consider that a conquest? Oh, it took me by surprise, believe me. It wasn't something I planned for you to do. You know, I remember these things. But it's not like they're a piece of my life. It's like remembering a play I've seen. I remember the scenes. I remember the actors, but I don't remember the feelings. They're too important for you to forget. You will remember them. Yeah. Well. Look, this doesn't have to be a battle between us, Eden. All right. So what happened next? Obviously, you've kept on Dean all these years. You gave it to me as a present. The second most important thing you ever gave me. And I suppose the first was my heart. Spare me the gothic romance, Robert. You stole from me. Why would you do something like that if it didn't matter? <sighs> Are you sure this is something you want to do? What, are you, chicken? <laughs> you know we need a plan. We break in, we steal it, we come back, we make well. I always think simple plan is the best. Yeah, but you also said the security system was lax. What if they have an alarm system? No. Okay, so we don't have an alarm system. You know the guy who sleeps all day? Maybe he's up all night. All right, here's the deal. I have a change of guard in about half an hour. Now, the one who's arriving is always a little late. The one who's trying to leave doesn't like to wait around. So there's about five minutes when there's nobody there. So for five minutes, the museum is ours. You've already thought of stealing on the museum. Mm, a few thousand times, but I never really thought it was going to follow through. Well, you're going to do it now. No. You're going to steal her. No. Not me. No. It is not me, and it's not you. It's us.